Alrighty, hello guys, welcome to Faces back to another Train Sim World video. We are in the BR introduction, so let's listen. To this BR 185.2 electric locomotive in DB Rayleon livery. During this brief introduction, we will go through the startup and stop procedures. Okay. Climb aboard. Roger that. All right, so um, we're playing Transcend World again. This is the new DLC, I believe. Uh, this is the BR185. I'm sure the 182 has came out, but I'm not entirely sure how to use it yet. So uh, I think I have to do the tutorial in this in this thing, and then we can move on to the new ones. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and jump inside. There we go. And uh, have a sit down, I guess? Yeah, sit in the driver's seat. No, 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 no. The battery will power up the control desk and allow you to interact with it. Do I have to hold the battery down? Five seconds. There you go. Bam! All right, turn the key to auto. There you go. Now do I sit down? I sit down now. All right. I'm doing it. To get the locomotive up and running, set the master switch. What do I switch it to? Neutral. All right, okay, cool. What's this? On. Headlights are important. Yeah. On. Reduced. What do I put it on? Normal? Normal. There we go. Good. You can also use H. We now need to ah. And let the brake system charge. All right. So we're going to sit here and, and wait for the brakes. Uh, in the meantime, we can look around with the camera if we wanted to. Uh, there is only two camera settings. So there you go. <laughs> we got this one and we got this one. There you go. Now activate the pantograph so that it raises up and makes contact with the overhead. Raise. All right. We're raising the pantograph. The locomotive is now ready to be energized. Close the breaker. Yes. Do I have to get back up again? When oh, Jesus. Periods of time, or when leaving the cab. All right, release the brakes. Can we go now? Use oh. the master switch to determine the direction of travel. Forwards! All right, let's the go. Brake is used for normal line operation. Release the brakes. Due to the size and weight of this train, small amounts of traction should be used to overcome initial friction and prevent overpowering the electrical systems. All right, there we go. 30. Beautiful. Are we moving? I think we're moving. Yeah, we are. Oh, awesome. Yeah. I like this already. Already loving it. I like the um the fact that we're in the in the rain and stuff. That's cool. Man, this is so atmospheric. It's it's so strange actually looking around when it's like this. Uh, I could technically get outside, I guess. Uh, but we're not going to do that. That's probably a bad idea. Okay, so we're slowly moving down the line. I believe in these tutorials, you just have to go forwards and then you have to stop the train and that's all you need to do. Uh, remembering that whole startup procedure though, I'm not sure I'll be able to do it. I mean, these are the brakes right here. This is the brakes. Don't know what this is because that wasn't in the tutorial. Uh, same with this one. Don't know what this is. Uh, but I do know that this is the throttle. Okay, that's the master key right there. This is where you do the pantograph. Back there is the battery. Oh, what? wait, I can spin my head 360 degrees. Wow, that's cool. That's interesting. Um, yeah, I'm not entirely sure what we're waiting for right now. Oh, here we go. Now we're rolling, we can apply more power, and focus can be diverted towards achieving a desired speed. Million maximum power! There you go. Use the throttle to apply more power and reach a higher speed. There you go. I've put it on max. I've put it on max power. I've done it. Reach speed. It just says reach speed in the top left. All right. Hopefully we can reach speed. That would be great. And this thing is actually pretty slow. Is there, is there much on the back? Ah, oh, I suppose it is quite a long train. It's not like massive, but it is it is decent. Decently sized. Wait, we're coming up to a red light. Coasting is a method of Throttle off. All right, there you go. Um, to bring this freight train to a safe stop, only a small amount of braking force is required. Can you tell me how? Because experience will teach you how much force you'll need. Where's the brake? Oh, here it is. Practice and experience will tell you how much force you need. I need a lot of force, please. Because we're coming up to the, the red light. And I think I can fail the tutorial. And that would suck. You know, that would be so embarrassing. Come on. Alright, there we go. I've turned off the brake. Turn it off. Release. I just want to coast in. I just want to coast in. Come on. I swear, if we stop, that's going to be really upsetting. Come on. Oh, we're still moving, so that's good. Let's just go back to coasting. There we go. Beautiful. Let's have a little look at the outside. Yep, we're slowly moving in. Nicely done. 
Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I'm liking this. What's that big red button? They didn't tell me what that was. Oh, horn. Beep boop, beep boop, beep boop. All right, cool. That's working. Um, yeah, we're almost there, so that's good. We're still moving at 4.7. Uh, we'll go ahead and slam the brakes on as soon as we get there, pretty much. Uh, let's go ahead and start applying some brake now. There we go. Apply all the brake. Full service. All the brakes. There we go. Bam. Not too bad. Not too bad. Good work. That concludes all the basics of this locomotive. Okay. So are we allowed to move on to the next one now? Yeah. All right. Okay. Cool. So if we go back to the main menu, we might be able to actually check out the new trains or the new locomotives. Maybe. Let's have a little look. Whoa. Wait. There's, there's cars on the back of there. Wait, is the new one... The new one is... Not there. I don't know what the new one is. I'm not entirely sure. Um, what's the difference between this one and this one? Just a bunch of numbers. I know. Alright, cool. Let's go with this one again. There we go. This is the one we were just driving. That's cool. Can we do the cars? Because I really want to drive with the cars on the back. Oh, God. Oh, wow. It's just back and forth towards... Back from one to the other and then and then back again. Jesus. All right. Okay. Um, I don't want to do that. I'm going to find something. Okay. It looks like I've got myself into another introduction. This is kind of annoying, but at the same time, we might as well learn how to drive. It's the same. It's the same train. It's the same one. I already know how to drive this thing. All right. But I have to do the tutorial in this thing again. Welcome to this BR185.2 electric locomotive in DB traffic red livery. During this brief introduction, we will go through the start and stop procedures. Yeah. Climb aboard to get started. It's the same thing. It's it's exactly the same thing. Uh, but I think I have to do the tutorial. I don't think I can skip it. Uh, unless we just go back to the main menu. Yeah, let's go back to the main menu. We'll work on the other trains. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to pick the train that we were just in, this one. And we're going to go ahead and try. I guess we'll do an early morning one and we'll see where we actually end up going. Uh, but we get 20 minutes to get from wherever we start to wherever this goes to. And then to there. All right. Okay. Let's just let's just go for it. And we'll see. We'll see how well this goes. All right. We're in. Um. Stop at location. So I guess we just have to go then. Uh. Right. Okay. Forwards. Is the is the pantograph already up and all that stuff already already on? Raise. Yeah. Sure. We'll raise it. Main circuit breaker closed. Throttle. The thirty. We're not gonna move, are we? We need to do it properly. Oh no. All right. Neutral. Uh. Pantograph lower. Okay, main circuit breaker open, I think. Yep, there we go. Go to the back, turn the battery on. Uh, hold on, let's let's press this. You have to hold it for a bit. Da 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 da. Come on. Maybe this has already been done. It might have already been done. Press it, hold it. I don't know, cause this light came on last time, didn't it? I think it did. All right, release the backer brake. Whatever. All right, cool. Um, da, 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 neutral. Yes. Pentagraph up. There we go. Forwards. I think I might have broken it. I think I might have broken it already. Uh, that's not the best. That is, I think it was already running. Uh, okay. Close. Okay, does it say my power anywhere? I think it's charging. It sounds like it's charging. Okay, I'm ready to go. Why does it say my brakes, though? Might have to wait for my brakes to charge. I'm not so sure. I don't know. I don't know what's... All right, let's just go. Here we go. Here we go. 30%. That's what they told me in the tutorial. And release the brakes. Okay. Direct brake release. We don't even need to touch that, I don't think. And we need to go 25 miles... Why isn't it moving? Is it in the air? Yeah, the pantograph's up. All right, we should be getting power, right? Close the breaker. Off we go. Come on. I don't know how to use this train. I need to do the tutorial again. That's the new train right there. That, if you guys saw that, that was the new train. Uh, I just restarted the mission so that we can try again. Um, the pantograph needs to be raised. There we go. The breaker then needs to be closed. This needs to go to, like, neutral. There we go. The brake pressure is lowering. And uh, I think we're ready to go. I think we're good. All right, cool. Let's go ahead and switch this to forwards. Nice. 
let's go ahead and increase this to whatever. I don't know, 30? Yeah, there we go. Uh, we'll release the parking brake. If we possibly can. Release the brake. And we should start to move forwards. I think. Oh, we got the cars on. Nice. Are we moving? Yes. Yes. We're slowly moving. Very slowly. All right. We're doing it. We're doing it. That's awesome. What is that? What's a CIFA? I don't know what a CIFA is. All right. I'm going to leave that alone. What's that down there? Wipers. Heck yeah. Brake valve. Wipers and brake valve are so close together. I don't want to touch that. Uh, passenger doors. Okay. We've got a horn. Nice. Okay. Uh, emergency pantograph. All right. Cool. Don't know what that does. I guess it releases it. Brings it down. I don't know. Anyway, uh, we're moving. So that's good. I don't want to be going too fast. I didn't get taught how to use the AFB, but I'm assuming that this is like a limiter kind of thing. I'm not entirely sure though. Um, but let's limit ourselves to 25. Yeah, there we go. Limit ourselves to 25. Presumably we won't go any faster than that now. I'm not entirely sure though. Alrighty, we're definitely moving at some speed now. That's pretty good. Let's go ahead and increase this. Um, it sounds like our brakes have just been deployed for some reason, but uh, hopefully they haven't because that would suck. Anyway, I'm going to increase it to 50%. Hopefully that'll speed us up a little bit and uh, we can get up to our, our actual speed. What's going on? It sounds like the brakes are being are being like deployed. The brakes are off. I'm sure of it. I'm sure. All right, cool. Good. Um... Uh, 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 how big is the train? Oh my! Oh no, it's it's not even that big. It's not even that big. What are these cars? These are these are Vauxhall, Vauxhall insignias. Let's go with that. Vauxhall insignias or their uh, their VWs. I don't know. Uh, right, okay, we're moving. We are at our speed limit. Hopefully, we don't go any faster than that. We'll see if it it lets us. Uh, yeah. I don't know what this thing is then. I'm not entirely, I don't know what that is. Um, but yeah, our speed limit is now like 60 or 70. It might even be 70. Um, so yeah, we're, we're going to stay at like 50% throttle for a while. Uh, as soon as we hit 30, actually, we'll go up to like 60, 70, 70. There we go. And we'll try and get up to speed. Nice. Okay, it kind of feels like we're going fast around here. We're, we're even like leaning over. Look at that. Wow. That is a big old lean right there. All right, cool. We're still going. That's good. Let's try and get some cinematic shots while we're moving down here. Here we go. Watch this. Let's try and get a, like a screenshot while we go through the buildings. That'd be cool. That'd be really cool. In fact, actually, look at this. I like being able to fly around. That is that is actually quite good. Um, right, okay. We can get rid of that. There we go. And we can take a screenshot. Bam! I didn't know we were on this track. I thought we were on the other one. My bad. My bad. Yeah, and then we can just fly down the track a little bit more. We can warn everybody that's at this station that we're flying through. And, uh, hey, dude. We're gonna be flying through here. Don't go on the tracks. All of you, leave it. Don't go on the tracks. You'll get died. You'll get died. Woo! Took a screenshot. Yeah! Alright, we are approaching the speed limit right now. So let's go ahead and, like, slow down a bit. Let's go down to like 70. Hopefully we don't go over the speed limit. That would suck a little bit. That would suck a little bit. All right, go slower. A little bit slower. Five. Yeah, five will do it. Uh, we are still gaining speed. Maybe a little bit less than five. Yeah, a little bit less than four, three. There we go. I'm trying to keep it at like the constant speed and uh, it seems a little bit difficult to do that because we're still gaining. We are still gaining speed a tiny bit at a time. We're only at 14% throttle. In fact, let's just turn it off. There we go. I think we'll keep like a constant speed now, right? No, we are going to slow down a little bit, but that's okay. The speed limit is about to change to something like 80 or something though. So uh, as soon as all of our train passes over that, we can then like gain speed and we could go like a million. Yeah, there we go. We could go a million miles an hour now. Let's just shove it on max and hopefully we can get up to 80. I think it's like 89. That's insane. Oh, no, it's just 80. It's just 80. The next one is 93, which is in two miles. Uh, so hopefully we can get up to 80 by that time. Uh, and then we can we can go 90. That would be amazing. All 
Okay, we're breaking the speed limit as we're going around a corner. This is incredible. Keep going. Woo! Max speed. Yes. You can't let me go like full throttle and then and then expect me to slow down. That is not happening. We're going as fast as we possibly can all the way there. We got 23 miles to go. That is really far away. So uh, we're going to continue. We're going to keep going as fast as we possibly can. Yes. We're almost at the 93 mile an hour zone as well. We haven't got to 93 yet. So uh, I feel like that's good. That's a good thing. That's a good milestone because I don't think we can go faster than 90. Man, this looks fast. This looks real fast. We are going 91 miles an hour. And, um, yeah, I feel like that's, like, close to our max in this thing. Does it say anywhere? What is that? 140 kilometers an hour. I don't know what that is in miles an hour, so, uh, 140... I mean, we're going faster than that already. We're going faster than that anyway. Uh, yeah. Okay, well, we're going, like, our max speed now, so that's good. That's really nice. Okay, we're going a bit fast now. We're in like a, an 80 mile an hour zone. We are going 93. There is a little locomotive or train over there. That's kind of cool, actually. They're really cool to see. But um, yeah, I guess you don't really drive those, do you? You don't really drive those 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 trains. Uh, they're like passenger trains that you control the back train with, if that makes sense. Oh, we got a train going by. Whee! Nice. Yeah. The cars on the back of these things are awesome as well. The passenger the passenger carriages, they look really cool. You can, like, see everywhere out of them. But I suppose that's kind of a good thing, because the scenery around here is actually pretty nice. We've got a bunch of evergreens. It's awesome. I'm not slowing down, by the way. We are going to go into a 62-mile-an-hour zone, and we're going to be going 90. So, uh, yeah, we're going to be going quite quick. I don't think you can derail in this game, but if you can, let's see if we can. Yeah, let's just go for it. We're just baiting everything now. See if we can actually derail. Um, I mean, if we could derail... This would probably be the time. We're going 30 mile an hour over the limit, so, uh, yeah. Yeah. It actually doesn't appear to be that we can actually derail. Um, I mean, at this point, I've been going max speed the entire time, so, uh... The fact that we haven't derailed yet is uh, a little bit interesting, but I suppose the speed limits have been closer to 90 than they have previously, so uh, we've had speed limits of like 70 and 80. Uh, this one is going down to 56, which is actually pretty slow. Maybe, maybe at this point, we can actually derail. I'm not sure though. Okay, we're coming up to it now. There we go. We're in the 56 mile an hour zone. It goes down to 43. Oh, this is where we get to challenge if we can actually like derail or not. I think we probably will. I think we probably will. We're going a bit fast, uh, especially for this locomotive. Oh my. Jeez Louise. I mean, it depends though, doesn't it? It depends what the 43 is for. Whether it's just for safety of everybody around, uh, just in case they are like on the tracks or whatever, or whether it's for safety of the train falling over because we go around tight bends like this one. I don't know. I don't know which uh, or what the point of that is. Oh, we go through a tunnel. Oh, look at this. Beautiful. Can we turn the lights on? High beam indicator bright. I mean, I can't see it. I, I don't think it's it's really making any bright. There we go. Headlights bright. I don't think that's making much of a difference, to be totally honest with you. Uh, so let's go ahead and bring it back to reduced. Or, or normal, I should say. There we go. Normal. Beautiful. All right. We're back in the 75 mile an hour zone. So uh, I don't think we will be able to tip this thing over. Ever. But we are only 9.8 miles away, so uh, we'll wait until we get there. We'll probably end up parking this thing up, and uh, yeah, cool. Wait, wait a minute, we're going 114. Wait, how are we, how are we going 100? Oh, we're, we're on, a, we're on a, uh, an incline, or decline. Decline? What do you call it? I don't know, I'm stupid. Anyway, um, we're on like a 1.9%. Um, wow, gradient, that is, that is crazy. So we're going 120 miles an hour. The limit of this train is 90. Uh. Uh. Yeah, we're going a bit fast now. We are. We are definitely going a bit fast. The limit of the train is 90. We're going 125. Um. We're, we're, we've hit a corner. We're going as fast as we possibly can. <gasps> derailed. We actually did. We derailed. Wow. Okay. I mean, that took a lot of effort to derail that train. 
That took a hell of a lot of effort. Wow. Wow, wow, wee, wow, wow. Right, I'm going to go back to the main menu. Um, I am going to leave this video here as well. If you guys want to see more Train Sim World, I'll probably end up doing it properly next time. Um, I don't really like the electric trains. I don't know. I don't. There's something about it. I really like the British Rail trains, so I'll probably end up using those again. Uh, I might even use the CSX Heavy Haul trains as well. They're pretty nice too. Uh, but for right now, I'm going to leave this here. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. See you guys in the next one. Goodbye.